All right, guys, notice we're starting off in the right view on the canvas. And what I want to do now is go to Create Sketch and select our 2D background to begin. Now select the two point rectangle. And if you don't see it above, go to Create Drop Down, go to Rectangle, Two Point Rectangle. And from the top left corner of this muzzle, we're just going to follow this reference to the halfway point, which is the red line. And we're going to repeat the same thing for the barrel. So top left corner to where it ends. Now we can go to Finish Sketch. Let's go to Revolve. And if you don't see the Revolve icon above, hit the Create drop down and select Revolve. Now we can select both of these profiles and go to Axes and select the bottom line to revolve it on that edge. Let's hit OK to finalize that. And what I want to do now is go back to the front view so we can start getting some more of these blackouts. So let's go to Create Sketch, select the plane or the 2D background to begin, and let's use our two-point rectangle and in dimension guys, we're only doing one half of the model, so don't worry about the left side right now. So from this center line to this bottom corner here, now we're going to switch to the line tool and just follow this reference. And this is real basic shapes, guys, so it's nothing complex just yet. We're just getting these hard shapes. Now we can shift select both of these, right click and go to press pull. Now let's return to the right view. And we can drag this blue arrow to follow the reference a bit better. And notice we're only controlling one side. So we're going to change it from one side to two sides. And that gives us the option of adjusting the back area as well. Once satisfied, we can hit OK. Now let's create a sketch again on the 2D background or the plane. And let's use our two-point rectangle tool to start from the bottom right corner of this reference. And we're going to go beyond the uh, actual body that we created previously. Because we're going to chop this later on so it doesn't matter. Now we can select this and right click and press pull. And what I want to do is just select this uh, face here so we can reference the size of it. And we don't want it to be the exact same size. We want to have some variation. So we're just going to pull this back and change it from cut to new body. And this is going to make a big difference later on. Now what I want to do is go to Modify Chamfer and I want to select this bottom edge and this top edge and then turn on our canvas and go back to the right view and now we can adjust this by dragging this blue arrow to match the reference. Let's hit OK to finalize that. Now what we can do is start getting this little ammo cartridge or crate, whatever you want to call it. Let's create a sketch on the 2D plane. And let's use our favorite tool, our two-point rectangle once again. And from this top left corner, excluding the filleted area, we're just going to drag it down to the bottom right. And once satisfied, we're going to right-click, hit OK. Now we can select this profile and then press pull it. So to see this better, better we're going to go to the right view. And we're going to drag this to the right side, excluding the other half. Because we're going to mirror this later on. So once satisfied and it matches, hit OK. Now we can chamfer off this edge by going to Modify Chamfer. Now typically you want to chamfer these at the same time, but these edges from the top and bottom are separate, so we're going to only select the bottom edge here. And let's adjust it accordingly. Once satisfied, we're going to right click and go up to repeat the last command, and we're going to select the top edge this time. And just a note, uh, I'm sorry if I'm going too fast or too slow, I'm just trying to accommodate for everyone's skill level right now. And we're going to be moving faster uh, a bit later on. So let's go to Create Sketch, select our 2D background or plane, and I want to use the two-point rectangle once again. And from this top center line, I'm just going to drag it down and to the right to the bottom line here. And what I'm trying to do is, let me grab the line tool, I'm going to uh, follow this reference excluding the filleted corners. Those rounded off edges, I'm going to exclude those because right now they're not important. We just want to get this uh, primitive shape knocked out. And it'll all make sense later on if you guys are new. And for those who do understand, just bear with me. <laughs> so let's close this out. And we can use these scissors above to trim off the center line so we can select this profile all at once. So let's right click, hit OK, select this profile, then right click, press pull. Now we're going to return to our right view and we're going to drag this blue arrow to the beginning of the reference. And we're also going to switch it from one sided to two side and adjust the back. And I want to show you guys uh, two different ways of doing this. So let's change it from cut to new body. And notice how far I brought the back piece back. Now I'm going to turn off the canvas and go to modify draft. 
and I'm going to rotate so I can see the bottom to select that face. Now select the back face. I'm going to go back to the right view and turn back on that canvas so now I can see what I'm doing when I adjust this. You see what it's doing? It's matching that reference. That looks good here. And this is just one way to do it. Let's hit OK to finalize that. So later on I'll show you a different way to do it. Let's go back to the front view, select this surface, and create a sketch. Now I'm going to use the two point rectangle tool from the bottom left corner where we left off from the last body, extending beyond the body at the bottom. Let's right click it OK. Let's select this surface, right click, press pull. Now if we return to the right view, we can drag this arrow back. And I could stop here and draft it like we did on the other body, but I want to show you guys another way to get the same result. So let's change the operation from cut to new body. Hit OK. Now we can select this surface and create a sketch. Let's use our two point rectangle and copy this reference. And as you guys see, we're going to be using the same things over and over. It's just going to be repetition pretty soon. Let's drag this edge up a bit higher. Now we can select this surface, right click and press pull. Now let's return to the front view so we can see what we're doing. And I just want to bring it to this front edge here, excluding the chamfered edges those corners change it from join to new body and hit OK. Now if we rotate a bit we can see the edges a bit better so let's go to modify chamfer select this top edge and the bottom edge and return to the front view. Now we can see what we're doing as we uh, adjust this modifier. Now let's return back to the right view and on the bodies layer I want to select the last body and control C control V to duplicate that and I want to slide the duplicate over to match the reference. Now I'm going to just rotate a bit to select the side face and I'm going to press pull it to match the body behind it. Now I want to combine all three of these shapes together so I'll go to this combine icon and then I'm going to select this big body here at the bottom and then select these two rectangular shapes. Ensure the operation is set to join and hit OK and now they're all just one body now. Now we can go to modify split body and I'm going to select this body to split and in the splitting tool I'm going to just turn off this uh, canvas really quick. I'm going to select this face here to be the tool to split it by. And we can go to the bodies layer and we can right click on that access piece and go to remove. Now after turning it back on that canvas I just want to select this side face here and go to create sketch. And this allows us to copy that profile. And now if we go to the top and select this offset icon and select the border we'll be able to offset this. Let's just drag this inwards to something around here and let's hit OK. Now we can use our two point rectangle tool and from the top corner here we're just going to form a little uh, rectangular shape that intersects with the body on the side here. Now we can right click hit OK and we can select both of these shapes so we can press pull it to the opposite rectangle. So just select this face here and it's on join so just press OK. Now it's a good time to start getting the base shape of the guard. So let's go to the front view and let's create a sketch on this 2D background. Now what I want to use is the two point rectangle like we've been using and I want to kind of uh, start to get this base shape. So from the center line somewhere around here, let's create a giant rectangle going down to the bottom right corner of the reference. Now we're going to switch to the line tool and from that bottom right corner, let's just go at an angle on the reference to with a um, model starts to bend at an arc. Then we'll go straight up to the top corner here. Now we can go to create arc, three point arc, and we'll just go point to point and we'll just uh, bring this out to have a nice bend. Now let's just clip this line and this line so it leaves us with one giant profile that we can just uh, right click, press pull. And I want to go to the right view so we can get a better look at this reference. And we can pull this uh, to the left. And we're going to pull it to where the fillet is at the bottom left corner. And change it from cut to new body. And change it from one side to two sides so we can adjust this back side. And we can slide this over to the right a bit more. And we're going to go to this second handle on the reference. Like partially through the middle. Now what I want to do is go to modify split body. So I'll just turn off this canvas so we can get a better look at this. Go to modify split body. And I'm just going to rotate so we can see this face of this uh, body in front of us. Select that surface. Now we have something to split it with. Now we hit OK. 
and we'll just go to the uh, body layer and right click and go to remove to get rid of that excess. Now we'll also go to create sketch and select the 2D background and I want to use the line tool to kind of uh, start to outline this shape so we can cut it again. And it's actually through the handle which you can't see from this point of view so I'm looking at my monitor and my other reference. And let's hit OK then we can hit finish sketch. Now we'll go to uh, modify split body. I want to split this body and the splitting tool will be the line we just created. Now we'll remove that excess body. Now's a good time to go back to create sketch and select our 2D background. And let's use the two point rectangle tool to kind of uh, draw a rectangular shape of this reference. So from this top right corner, we're gonna go through this body here on the left and we're gonna right click, hit okay. And let's press pull this and go to the top view so we can get a better look at this. And we're just gonna drag this arrow to match the reference. That looks good. Let's change it from one side to two sides so we can bring the back a little closer. So somewhere about here looks good. And let's change the operation from cut to new body. And let's hit OK and return back to our right view. Now what I want to do is go to modify chamfer. And I want to just chamfer this top edge as well as the bottom. And we'll return back to the right view so we can see this a bit better. Let's just adjust this to match. That looks good. Let's hit OK. Now let's just rotate our canvas slightly so we can select this face and then go to create sketch. Now we'll use the circle diameter circle tool here to uh, click once in the center point of the circle and drag outwards to create that giant circular shape. And we'll do the same at the top. So from the center, click once and drag out and click again to finalize. Now we'll use our spline tool. And if you don't see it above, just hit the create drop down and select spline. And we'll click once here. And we'll go up and then we'll click again on this small circle and then we'll drag the mouse outwards right click and hit OK. And then we'll go back to spline and on the right side of this giant circle we'll click again and then somewhere around here where it starts to arc we'll click again for the second time and the third time we'll be on the smaller uh, circle. And the spline tool is difficult to use if it's your first time so definitely be aware of that. Now we'll shift select all of these profiles and we'll right click and press pull. And let's return to the right view so we can see this reference of the thickness. So we'll just pull this out accordingly. And once you're satisfied, we'll hit OK. Well, first let's change it from joint to new body, then hit OK. Now in the layers, we'll just Control C, Control V to duplicate that. And we'll just pull the second version over here to match the reference. And let's finalize this by hitting OK. And on the inside of this little handle, we're just going to select the face and then go to Create Sketch. And now we can use a circle diameter circle tool from the center to create a smaller uh, circular shape. And once satisfied, we're just going to right click, hit OK, and we'll left click hold to select the profile, then right click, press pull. And let's go back to the right view, then uh, rotate slightly so we can see the inner handle on the opposite side, and then change it from joint to new body, then hit OK. So back in the right view, let's create a sketch and then select our 2D background. And we're going to start drawing this handle here or sketching that out. So let's use our two point rectangle and halfway through this shape, we're going to draw a rectangle so we can then uh, finish sketch and revolve. So let's right click, finish sketch, go to revolve and the axes will be the bottom line. Hit OK once we're satisfied. And in the layers, let's right click and go to move so we can return to the top view and we'll just adjust this to match the reference. And that's good right here. So let's hit OK. And what I want to do now is go back to the right view. And in the front where the barrel uh, begins, there's a nice little ring. So I'm going to create a sketch and select the 2D background. And I'll use the line tool to draw a line of where that ring starts. So right down the middle. And it doesn't matter how long the line is because lines are infinite. So we're going to finish sketch here. And we're going to go to modify split body and then select the barrel as a body and for the splitting tool, that line we just created. And what this allows us to do is just select this and press pull to uh, make it a bit thicker to match the reference. And once satisfied, we'll just hit OK. And then what I want to do is go to the layers, uh, the body layer, and then go to Control C, Control V to duplicate that. And then I'll just go to the front view after duplicating that and uh, match the reference a bit better. So we'll pull it down 
to the center point right about here. We'll hit OK and we'll select the uh, outer edge or whatever we call this surface and press pull it. And back in the front view, we can scale it. We'll downscale this to match the reference. And that looks good. So we'll hit OK to finalize that. All right, so back in the right view, let's start working on this leg here on the biped. So let's create a sketch and select the 2D background. And also, guys, to mention, I'm expecting you guys to pick up some of this information. So I'm not going to be annotating uh, so much here in the uh, next couple of videos. I'm expecting you guys to remember it. And a lot of you guys already know how to model anyway. So it's just for mostly for the new guys who are new to parametric modeling and Fusion 360. So this line I'm using right now is just going to be the rotation line. I'm just using this as a place to revolve this once I'm done using this rectangular tool here to uh, shape out the inner area. Now I'm going to switch back to the line tool and start outlining this. And don't forget guys, I'm just doing the, the, the block out right now. So the basic shapes, that's all I'm worried about right now. No detail. I know you guys are hungry and want to get in there. So just remember that. So now we can go to create revolve and then start revolving all three of these bodies or profiles to create one body. I'm going to hit OK. Now let's go back to the front view and let's right click and move this. And I want to move this to match the reference. So hopefully I didn't go too slow for you experts and I didn't go too quick for you guys who are new to parametric modeling inside of Fusion 360. Try to find a happy medium between both. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Please give the video a like, comment, share. And uh, we made a lot of progress, believe it or not. I know you guys can't see it because we're just on the blockout shapes, but uh, we got more to come. Catch you guys next week.